Hey guys, Rook Knight back again. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I just wanted to show off uh, two more picks to you guys to get your opinions. And uh, the first one here is a uh, DeForest Diamond and it is Red Heart uh, Wood. Came out pretty decent. Some nice green on it. It's kind of hard to tell. I wonder if I can get a flashlight here. Pretty green, it's just very dark. Um, it's got uh, hollow pins again, and uh, like I said, DeForest Diamond there fits nice in the hand. And I also have one more DeForest Diamond that I made, but this one's a little bit different. Um, this one has a little bit of everything in here. Um, there's everything from maple, the paddock, or paduk, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, uh, babinga, as well as wengo, wego, I don't know, I can never pronounce them, I'm terrible at the names, but it definitely came out kind of cool. Got the, uh, hollow pins again. And then just a uh, little bit of everything here. I've heard this thing looks said people said it looks like a snake to uh, I think what they say a barber pole, a, uh, a little bit of uh, mixed emotions, um, but I definitely like it. I thought it looked really cool. Get some close up on the wood. Every piece has a different looking grain, which kind of makes that unique. But I was pretty proud of it, actually. Put a lot of hours into it, and uh, it came out really nice. So uh, these are the two that I wanted to show you. I, I don't know, what can I say? I'm, I'm getting addicted to making them. I just I, I really do enjoy the process of making them. I can sit here and make them all day long sometimes. It just, I don't know, I just uh, absolutely love the idea of making custom picks. Um, it's one of the things that I was never able to afford them, and uh, I want to just... You know, when you want something bad enough, you're going to figure out how to do it. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you, hope you like my new ones, and I uh, hope everybody's doing well, and I will catch you next time.